Oh, we are back. All right, hello. We got the new abyss right here, just dropped for the Asia gang, which means it'll be soon coming over to EU and NA, so you guys can prepare and prep for this. Let's go over the new abyss rotation, shall we? Of course, I'll be suffering in the abyss over on my live stream. We're currently live as we are taking a look at this first look. <laughs> they're, they're saying hello, YouTube. Okay, so we got Blessing of the Abyssal Moon. When the active character's normal, charged, or plunging attacks hit multiple opponents, or opponents multiple times, within two seconds, the character's normal, ch uh, charged, and plunging attack damage is also increased by 5% for 8 seconds, max of 15 stacks. That sounds good for, um, Xiao, right? Xiao, I'd say. Um, maybe a Noel spin to win. Yeah, with her ultimate. Alright, seems good. Yeah, seems good. Okay. So we have floor 11. All party members' normal attack damage increased by 50% straight off the bat. So this is good for like a Eula, I'd say. This is good for like a main DPS no all. If you're running a C6 no all, auto attacking. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's a, that's an, uh, I'd say that's not part, that, that's like half Ito. That's Yoi Mia buff right there. Raiden buff, Ria. Anyone who basically auto attacks. Anyone who basically auto attacks. I think Ito and Aiko, I, Ayaka are more of a charge attack gamer, right? Now we got floor 11, chamber one. Ruin cruisers, destroyers, abyss mage, ruin graders, electro, abyss, hilly churls. They're easy, easy first half. No big deal. Second half, slimes, pyro specters, electro specters. Those are new that we haven't seen. And then we have mimics. Very simple. Just bring cryo on the second half. Bring Animo on the first half, group them together. Shouldn't be a big deal. I, I can I can see Geo dominating on this first half, right? Have a Venti, no big deal, right? And then for Chamber 3, we have the Mirror Maiden with Kairagi. <laughs> wow. We have a Thundering Manifestation. Wait a minute. They can fit that boss in the in the domain? I thought this was a pretty beefy boss. I didn't think they'd actually be able to fit that boss in the actual Abyss. But okay. We have Thunder Manifestation on second half. Seems good. I mean, it is floor 11. If anyone's using a Yoi Mia, a Ganyu, you're probably going to do well. Maybe a Ningguang Yenfei. You might want to bring out some Catalyst users, some Bow users against the Thunder Manifestation. Because if you're trying to go melee, this guy is a pain to, to, to kill. So I'd recommend ranged unit, units for sure. And now we have floor 12. Certain opponents in this challenge possess the Honed Spirit Effect, which will grant them 10% physical and all ele elemental resistance. When opponents with Honed Spirit takes hits from attacks that are considered normal attack damage, they will lose 3% physical and all of their elemental resistance. A maximum of 30% of each may be lost this way. The resistance loss this way will be rese reset every 20 seconds. So a little bit of shred right here. Yeah? They all have, they all start off with 10% physical and all elemental resistance, but when you're, when you, when you do damage to them, they'll just lose 3%, uh, for a max of 30% loss. So seems good. So 20% loss right there on resistance and it'll be reset every 20 seconds. Seems good. And now we have chamber 12 or floor 12, chamber one, perpetual mechanical array on the first half, which is already a pain. Not going to lie. He has so much HP. But thank God it's not on floor or chamber three because he's only level 95, right? So maybe a little less. We have the Pyro Abyss Lecter with Dendro Shamachurls, the um, the Rift Hound, and Den uh, or Pyro Abyss Mage. So we have the Abyss Lecter, Pyro one. Interesting. All right, bring some Hydro characters for that. Tartaglia is gonna have a field day. That's gonna be a burn cham chamber for sure. Oh, that's how they get you. They want you to bring Hydro for this, but Hydro is not going to be good on the second half against the Abyss Herald. Hmm, you got to think about that then. Maybe bring some Cryo for the second half. Unless you're trying to go in, get three stars, back out, remake, and make an entirely new team for the second chamber. That's a Hydro Ab Abyss Herald right there. I mean, I guess you could bring like Cryo, right? Cryo might be good against the Abyss Lector and the Abyss Herald right here. Yeah, just use a Ganyu. And then we have a Primo Geo Bishop on top half. It'll probably be two of them. So, seems good. Bring some Animo characters or something to 
group them together. And then we have Chamber 3. Ruin Guard, Ruin Greater. Seems good. Just go with the Perma Freeze team comp. And you should be fine. And then second half is a Magu Kenki. Now, I don't know if it's actually just one Magu Kenki. I don't know if it's, it's three. It could be another... It could, I'm telling you. If this is a three Magu Kenki fight right after the Ruin Guards, so help me, Mihoyo. Oh, that's gonna suck. I'm, I'm assuming it's just one, right? I'm assuming it's just one. It has to be one, because I think they tell you if there's the other two. Yeah, it's just one. It's just one. I remember now. So just one Magu Kenki. Doesn't seem that bad. Now, I'm a little confused. They didn't show in the other, the boss, Bishop, in here. Which I guess I, I'm a little surprised, but they did throw in some new enemies. Abyss Lector, Pyro Spectres, and the Electro Spectres. Overall, I don't think this Abyss will be that bad. I think the main thing we have to worry about is getting an, uh, a ranged unit for the Thunder Manifestation. We need to hope that the Perpetual Mechanical Array doesn't have too much HP on the first half. Because he's a pain. First time fighting the Abyss Lector out in the Abyss. Um, Primo Geo... Wait, Primo Geo Bishop. Is that a boss? Wait, that's the boss? Bishop? Wait, that's the first time we fought the boss Geo Bishop in the Abyss. Wait, they're putting a lot of bosses in here. Holy shit, dude. And then the Magu Kenki. <laughs> okay, interesting. I mean, the Primo Geo Bishop's easy. As long as you bring a shield character, that is how you're going to be able to do a lot of damage. Just bring a shield character, he'll do like 20% damage to himself every single time. That should be an easy first half. That should be a very easy first half. Um, I'm more so worried about Chamber 3. Actually, no. Chamber 3 shouldn't be that hard either against the Magu Kenki if it's just one. Yeah, I'm more so worried about Chamber 1. I think this is fine though. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is a very scary looking abyss. I think overall we should have no issue. Of course, for anyone who is watching this... I will be live streaming this over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash enviosity. I'll be suffering all day using just the OG7 characters. So if you guys do want to see me suffer on this, try out some strategies and, and figure out how to get the clear, uh, you guys are more than welcome to join and watch live. But I think that's it. I think that's it. For now, we'll have to wait. The Abyss will drop tomorrow for me. Um, It should be out for Asia and it should be coming relatively soon for EU. Let me know what you guys think about the new Abyss, if it looks easier or harder than the previous Abyss rotation. And uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. <laughs> I don't think this Abyss is that gonna, is that scary, alright? I think we'll be fine, but you know, final last words, we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, enjoy the rest of your night.